in this box should be the last piece of the jigsaw on this R32 powered Mark II Golf. Let's see what's inside and whether it fits. So, what we have here is the fan shroud and fans for our golf. But the question is, can you guess what this is from? Clue, it's not from a Mark III Golf VR6, which is what we originally intended. After discovering that a Mark III Golf VR6 fan shroud is incorporated into the slam panel, we had to find an alternative. We spent hours trawling the internet searching high and low for an alternative, eventually discovering that this fan shroud would fit from another BAG car. So you may have seen in our last video that we fitted this Mark III Golf VR6 radiator and had to modify a few bits to get it to fit. Unfortunately, a fan shroud from a Mark III Golf VR6 doesn't fit. So I've ordered this used part from another car and we're gonna get this to fit. But I just have to do some measuring to make sure that I've ordered the right part. I grab a tape measure from my bedside table drawer and measure the fan shroud mounting holes on the front of the radiator. In theory, these should be the same distance apart as the mounting holes on the fan shroud. Going by my measurements, the width is 665 millimeters and the height is 185 millimeters. The fan shroud will be going on the rear of the radiator to which the mounting holes are the same as what's on the front. Now it's a good job that we have decided to have the radiator sat a little bit further forward. Not only did it not fit otherwise, but that has given us that extra space at the back. And judging by this, even though these are quite slim line fans, um, they are a little bit bigger than the ones that we had previously, but we are gaining a fair bit of extra space by having this radiator further forward. So this looks like it should fit in place. I'm just not convinced, to be honest. No, I think they'll be fine because, as I've said, the radiator before was sat right here. It was almost up against the inlet manifold here. These then bolted through the radiator, sat on the back of it. So they were obviously a sat a little bit further down. They were kind of right down here in the radiator rather than up top. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But that meant that you, you do have that clearance because you don't put the fans, you know, the manufacturers don't put the fans where there is going to be clashes. So, and these, okay, the slimline fans, but they're actually not a lot different, really, to what we've got here. There's less difference between the height of this and that than there is between what we've gained by moving the radiator further forward. Mm, yeah. Time will tell, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so the old radiator, the fans were fitted through screws in the fins, weren't they? Yeah. And yeah. it looked really awful. It did. Um, that is traditionally a way that people do tend to do it. And there isn't technically anything wrong with it because you're not actually damaging the radiator. The fins are only there to dissipate heat. But it is a bit Heath Robinson. I don't really like it. Um, so that's why I wanted a proper fan shroud. The fans on that new one with the dedicated shroud are much bigger. It should direct the airflow through a lot better as well. So it would help with the cooling. So I think it will probably be beneficial to have it on a proper fan shroud system. I think it gives you a bit of reassurance as well, the fact that it's not held in by some screws, even though that is the done thing in some circumstances. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I think one thing we will have to do as well is just on these bits here, these bits mount into the slam panel. Um, obviously a Mark III slam panel is different, so therefore these would normally just kind of rest within it. We've got a Mark II Golf, obviously, so we're just gonna have to make up some brackets to just to bolt through into the slam panel. But at the moment, that is actually quite quite secure really for what it is now as you can see 
It's a little bit rusty, it is second hand, and we actually don't need this bit along here. We get to cut about two inches off because that is what would foul the radiator support panel, which we fitted a couple of weeks back. So we're going to go to Ben's. Let's play. Let's play. Back at Ben's, ready to fit our fan shroud on our VR6 radiator. With our previous setup, the coolant level, every time we went for a drive, would rise right up in the coolant bottle and just wee out everywhere, and it was an absolute nightmare. And now, since we have fitted all of our new pipe work with the new radiator, the coolant level is sat pretty right where it needs to be. Perfect. Using the front engine mount, which is my preferred method to jack up the car, we support the engine so we can remove the front bumper. With the bumper removed for access, we now remove the three 10mm nuts that hold on the fans, we disconnect the electrical connectors and drill out the rivets that hold on a heat sink. We can now break out our favourite tool, Mr Angry Grinder. Fitted with a wire wheel attachment, this removes all surface rust and loose paint. With both sides now a nice clean metal surface, we can use rust converter to stop any rust spreading further. But before doing that, we temporarily refit the fans and offer it up against the radiator to see if it fits. Look, that's the fan, it is on. We have clearance. It's the wiring loom. Got the clearance, Clarence. <laughs> There's the other fan. And the shroud goes over the top. We actually don't even technically need to trim the bottom because it does still fit, but it is well holy so we are just gonna buzz the bottom off of it all good the rust converter goes on in spades to kill off the rust with the whole thing covered we wait for it to go off any parts that have made contact with rust turn black and well yeah that's a lot of it however it's solid any rust that was there is now treated so we break out the 120 grit sandpaper and just give it a key whilst trying to avoid giving Ben's washing line a coat of paint we spray the fan shroud in etch primer with the conditions outside as they were, it didn't take long to dry at all. So a top coat of LO41 black for that extra glossy shine. So we've got the fans and we've got a pair of wires just wired in. We're going to just jump it on the battery. Go. Both fans work and they're pulling the air through the radiator like that. Now we've got the radiator fan shroud all painted up, it looks great. Uh, we've taken a little bit off the bottom. I originally thought we might have to take the whole bit off, but it actually didn't need anything taken off. We just did it because it had some holes in it. So we've treated it, painted it, that shouldn't rust anymore. We've now got the fans on, we've routed the wiring and we've tested it, and the fans rotate in the correct direction. So we're going to offer it up against the radiator, probably a last little bit of wiring just to root in, and then we're good to go. I hope you like Ben's neck curtains. <laughs> Searching for the right fasteners to attach the radiator shroud to the radiator. Hunting through my collection of random Volkswagen and all sorts of bolts, thinking, I can't find it. I found two. They're screws, not bolts. So they're in the screw drawer. There we go. We're not screwed after all. Should ever you need anything, just any random crap, Ben is going to have Spares. some some random crap lying Stop. around. The fan shroud is on. The fans are in. We do have clearance. That is actually probably still with more space, I reckon, than what the previous radiator and shroud had, and the the fans on the back. Yeah. I'm pleased with that. I will reveal soon what the shroud was. In our previous video, you might have noticed that our radiator was supported on the bottom brackets that we made up, but we've got these 
points here, which we have marked out, which will provide a positive location for the top of the radiator to rest in once we've drilled out the holes. Right, check this out. So to mount the top part of the radiator into the slam panel, we have a stainless cap head bolt, which runs through. We've got a nylock underneath with a washer, securing it in place, and then a riv nut, which is threaded onto the uh, stainless bolt, which rests perfectly within the little groove, the cutout part of the top of the radiator. I think that is a job well done. That is not budging whatsoever. I'm proud of that. You might have noticed, we did get a bit carried away and we painted the slam panel as well. It is now weeing down with rain, but we are <laughs> working with the electrics just at this point, but this should work. We have now got the old loom from the previous fans connected with the correct connections for what will work on this radiator now. And that should be us good to go. So that's it. We've successfully fitted our radiator fan shroud and the one that we have used is from a Sayat Abitha 1.8 20 valve turbo. We believe it might be the only one out in the country, um, but it fits, it works, and we've got plenty of room to play with. So that just shows that there is plenty of ways to skin a cat or peel a tomato or whatever you want to do if you like cats. Um, but yeah, I think that just shows that you don't have to go for these fabricated special builds which cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds. This wasn't an expensive modification. It took a bit of time because we made sure it was nice and tidy, but it looked great. I'm really, really proud of the way this has turned out. So thank you very much, Ben. What we're going to do, we're going to get it warm. We're going to make sure that everything works as it should do. And then we're going to go for a little drive. See, I can't do that double clutching thing that Ben does where he like, flips the front. So you get that one and there's even the thing inside. Yeah, I've done that. I've tried it, I need to crash it. Fractals. Which way is it? Uh, you go around. Up there. Oh. are on. Well, I'm getting some breeze flying back from here. I class that as a resounding success. Thank you all so much for watching Southeast Mark II Golfs. See you next time. <laughs>